Estás viendo la cadena, Anthony. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Hello. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Yeah. Remember, guys, that when you say hello to somebody at this time, you say good evening. When you say bye to somebody at this time, you say good night. Okay. Because um, it's like um, when you say good night, you are saying, Bye, I'm going to go home, I'm going to sleep, okay? So that is good night, okay? Um, so, but when you're saying hi, it's good evening, okay? Do we understand? Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. So at the beginning of the class, you can say to me, good evening. And then at the end of the class at 10, you can say good night. Okay, sounds good? Yeah. All right, yeah. very good. All right, great, great. So what we'll do right now, um, let me take attendance. Just give me a moment. Okay, so I'm going to take attendance right now. <laughs> A moment. Okay, here we go. Aaron Alberto Peraza Martel. Aaron Alberto Peraza. Adriana Beatriz Rodriguez Sosa. Present. Thank you. Ana Mercedes Solorzano Najarro. Ana Mercedes Solorzano Najarro. Blanca Rosa Hernández de Rosales. Blanca Rosa Hernández de Rosales. Daniel Oswaldo Aquino Coreas. Present. Thank you. Present. Okay. Uh, Dora Stephanie Mejia Mejia. Present. Excellent. Thank you, Dora. Edwin Adonai Jans Calderón. Edwin Adonai. Eh, Luisa Abigail Ortiz de García. Eh, Luisa Abigail. Gloria Elizabeth Orellana de Mayen. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you, Gloria. Henry Oswaldo Quintanilla López. Henry Oswaldo. Soy. Ah, okay, wonderful. Henry, um, are you able to turn on your camera so we can see your face? Permítame que hace un ratito que estuve otra reunión me estuvo fallando por eso no la activo. Pero permítame ah, okay. quiero ver si me, me aguanta el, el, el teléfono. Okay, okay, so, solo por un, un instante para ver ahí su ahí está. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, Henry. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, Hugo and Alberto Orellana Vides. I'm here, teacher. Donde? Ahí está. Okay, perfect. Gotcha. Um, Jose Angel Hernandez Lopez. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you. Um, Juan Alberto Cabrera Herrera. Juan Alberto Cabrera Herrera. Catherine Stephanie Salazar Serrano. 
Present. Thank you. Catherine Jamilet Aviles Garcia. Present. Wonderful. Thank you. Kenia Vanessa Funes Espinosa. Present me. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Uh, Kevin Adrian Rodriguez Lopez. Kevin Adrian. Uh, Kimberly Natalie Contreras Gonzalez. I am here, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Um, Marvin Alberto Morales Solorzano. Present. Excellent, thank you. Maynor Alexander Santos Solis. Present. Excellent. Um, ah, they're here. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Maynor. Um, Pamela Noemi Pineda Ayala. Pamela Noemi Pineda. Pedro Natán Ramírez Andrade. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Rafael Antonio Aguilar Carpio. I present, miss. Good Excellent. night. Good, good evening. Good evening, Rafael. Thanks. Okay. Um, Romeo Antonio Gutierrez Cer uh, Cerrón. Cerrón. Present. Wonderful, thank you. Ruth del Carmen Rosales Villeda. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Guadalupe Alfaro Herrera. Present Miss. Excellent, thank you. Sonia Yanira Garcia de la Cruz. Present teacher. Excellent. Victor Manuel Argueta Rauda. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. And Janira Guadalupe Cumi de Rivera. Present. Excellent. And Judy Edith Chavez de Derarte. Judy Edith. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, very good. Um, before we continue, excuse I me, please. Excuse yes. me. Ana Mercedes, present. Hello, okay. Isa. Okay. But, chicos, solo tratan de, de entrar lo más temprano posible para que no tengamos esas interrupciones de que, ah, yo estoy aquí, yo también, yo acá, para que eh, si podamos ahí, de lo contrario, eh, hay bastantes interrupciones. But thank you very much. Okay. So, um, we are going to start. Uh, oh, but before we start, um, I want to know, how are you doing in the platform? Como vamos? You need five. Excellent. Very good. You're on section five. And the others? Como vamos? Con las secciones. Me too in the five section. Okay, good. Excellent. Very good. Very good. And the rest of you? Two. Five. Okay, yes. number five. Okay. Acuérdense que estamos pidiendo que toda la plataforma se termine. ¿Cuándo? Jueves. El 20 de noviembre. O sea, tenemos un poquito más del jueves, ¿verdad? Pero, pero sí, el 20 de noviembre. Entonces, um, Eso es con el fin de poder ayudarles ahí a, a, a obtener sus diplomas uh, más, uh, más rápido, ¿verdad? Porque eh, si todos terminamos a tiempo, entonces es mucho más fácil poder um, gestionar todo eso de, eh, de los diplomas. Entonces les pedimos ahí su colaboración, ¿verdad? Si hay alguna cosa en la que ustedes necesitan ayuda, algún ejercicio en particular, les voy a pedir lo siguiente. Mañana. Al principio de la clase, voy a estar respondiendo cualquier pregunta de la plataforma. 
pero necesito que sean muy puntuales en lo que tiene que ver con el ejercicio. Dígame, tal, tal ejercicio, ¿verdad? La, y, pero no solamente dígame la sección, sino que también ejercicio en particular. Por ejemplo, estoy teniendo problemas en el ejercicio por el S4.5, número 4. ¿Ok? Eh, entonces, um, sea muy, muy puntual en eso para que podamos eh, abarcar cuántas preguntas sea posible. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna preguntita que tengan sobre eso? No? Ok. All right, guys. So what we'll do right now is we'll start um, with the attend sorry, the the class um please tell me if you are able to see my screen can you see my screen yes perfect okay so yesterday we learned about how to give directions, okay? And we use the map of New York as an example, right? So we have a central, uh, Grand Central Terminal. That's like the big bus terminal where everybody goes, um, like all the buses go, all the metros and everything. Um, that's Grand Central Terminal. Then we have St. Patrick's Cathedral, Rockefeller Center, uh, New York Public, Public Library, Bryant Park, Empire State Building. These are like very important landmarks. Now, we learned that for directions, we can talk about, we, to ask for directions, you say, how do I get to Rockefeller Center? Or how do I get to Bryant Park? Or how do I get to New York Public Library? How do I get to the Empire State Building? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. And we learned <coughs> that we can answer walk up or walk or go up. Okay. Walk up or go up. Or turn on. Turn on. Uh, or on, it's on the right, or the opposite, walk down or walk, go down, turn right on, and then you say the street, and you can also say it's on the left, that's the opposite, okay? So what I'm going to ask you guys to do is the following. You're going to be working in small groups, and I'm going to get you guys to... Uh, ask for directions. Of course, you're all going to pretend that you start from Grand Central Terminal. That is your starting point, okay? So everybody is going to pretend to be at the Grand Central Terminal, which is right here. That's where you're gonna start your, your directions from, okay? Um, I'm going to stop sharing and I will send you guys the picture. Just a second. Just a second. Okay, can you see my my the picture that I sent to you in the group? Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Good. I just want to make sure that everybody that is here is going to participate. So can you please turn on your camera so I know that you are here, that you're going to be participating. Para que no tenga que ponerles en otro. 
Okay, uh, Pedro, will you be participating? Pedro Natal? Hello, teacher, yes. Okay, great. Maynor, will you participate? Maynor? Maynor? Okay, I think Maynor is not going to be participating, so let me move him somewhere else. Okay, um, Henry, Henry, will you be participating? Yes. Yes, okay, wonderful. And Daniel, will you be participating? Daniel Oswaldo? Yes. You will participate? Perfect. Okay, wonderful. All right, so in that case, um, I'm going to give you guys, you're gonna be working in pairs, okay? So that it's not that difficult. And I'm gonna give you about, um, about eight minutes. We'll, we'll check to see what happens in eight minutes, okay? So here we go. Excuse me, teacher, me puede mover a otra sala porque me tuve que salir de un dispositivo entre otro. Por favor. Gloria, Pamela, ¿pueden entrar? ¿No pueden entrar? Gloria. Gloria, ¿puede entrar a la clase o no? Gloria. Hay que empezar eh, para el diálogo, para dar la dirección, comenzando del Gran Central Terminal. Y una le pregunta a la otra hacia cualquier lugar de esos que están ahí en el mapa, cómo llegar y de ahí hacemos el cambio. Y la pregunta para hacer. La pregunta sería, por ejemplo, how can I get to New York Public Library? No sé si quiere que la escriba en el, aquí en el, aquí quiero ver. Lo voy a poner aquí. La pregunta, how can I get to New York Public Library. Esta será, sería la pregunta. 
La ve ahí en el chat. En el chat de aquí de la pantalla. Ahí lo escribí la pregunta. ¿Qué le parece? How can I get to New York Public Library? Es la pregunta. Esa es la pregunta. Entonces, como estamos ahí en el Gran Central Cathedral y el... Sí, sería, yo creo que sería World Cup. Piqué. Yeah. Eh, saliendo de la terminal para decir go up o go down en 42nd Street, sería go up o go down. So go up means um, that you're going either in a direction of a hill or that um, the direction of the streets are higher. So if you're on 42, you're going to go to 47, for example. Let's go up. Does that make sense? I don't understand. understand. Okay, go up, up. What is up? Uh, o sea, up es arriba. Arriba, exactly. It's down es abajo. Exactly. El, 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 la, como la question sería, eh, ¿cuándo usar eh, go up o uh -huh. That, up? That's why I'm explaining. So, go up means either that you're going up a hill, a hill, a hill, like, so there's like a mountain, let's say, okay? Like a hill. You understand a hill? Eh, eh, a yo, hill, no, a no. hill. Like, like for example, um, eh, San Jacinto is a hill. Ah, oh, a hill. okay. Un, un cerro. Yes, okay. So either you're going up a hill, okay, or... Or you're going from a lower number to a higher number. So, for example, if you are on 42nd Street and you want to go to 47th Street, you go up. Okay, 40, 42nd. What is 42nd? 42nd. Uh -huh. And you want to go to 47th. What is 47? Excuse me? What, what is 47? It's 47. Yeah, so you want 47. to go from 42 to 47. That is going up. Uh, go uh, for a, uh, the example in go for For 42 Street, um, in this area is on left for Madison Avenue. Como buscando al edificio de la Empire State. Vale, pero ¿qué, ¿qué me ha entendido de lo que le acabo de explicar? Um, que se va a como a... a, a a dar el, 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 el hacia dónde voy, si voy hacia arriba o hacia abajo, dependiendo de dónde estamos. Uh -huh. Vaya, en términos físicos. Okay. Sí, sí, sí. Vaya. ¿Y la otra situación es? 
Mm, ahí sí no la... <risa> va, si está en la 42 y quiere ir a la 47, entonces va para... Arriba. Ajá, exacto. Arriba. ¿Ya? Aunque, okay. no sea un, aunque no sea una colina. Ah, o sea, es como el contexto en el, en la, en el número de la, de, la, de la calle. Ajá. No es, es, como, no es como, como el físico. Que, no necesariamente, como, o sea, puede ser, ah. pero no necesariamente. Ah, ok. Ok. Ah, entonces ahí sería, ahí se usaría el go, el down o el loop. Uh -huh. y el walk y el, este, y el go pueden usarse igual de la misma manera yes. es, 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 es igual ¿verdad? Yes. Uh -huh. ah ok ok, ah, okay. Ah, sí. gracias thanks, thanks teacher you're gracias. welcome All right. gracias. You, 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 yeah, you're welcome you can continue thank you teacher You're welcome. Hola. Estoy. Ahora sí. Nos quedó un poco más claro. Sí, eh, clarísimo. Sería, eh, sí, ya. Ajá, sería... Era mi única duda que yo um, va para abajo, va para arriba. Ajá, entonces sería, eh, eh, por ejemplo, Go o walk en la 42 avenida. Digamos de esta si estamos en la terminal. Go por go en la 42 avenida sería go por y tú. Se nos mandaron para Se la sala. ¿Verdad que sí? Sí. Pues vámonos, pues. Sí. No, no, Un gusto, no, no, Sandrita, gracias. No, you're fine. Continue, continue. I'm just here. I'm just here to help you and listen, okay? You you continue. Ah, okay. Okay? Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye, entonces. entonces yeah. Don't drive on 42 street. 42 street, uh-huh. Okay, in this case, you say 42nd, 42nd, not 42, but 42nd, because we use ordinal ah, sí, numbers. Ah, es cierto, es cierto, 42nd. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. 42nd. Mm -hmm. Sí, que como en las direcciones, este, se, se, se usan los, los cardinales. En vez de no, los ordinales. No, los al revés. Los, ah, los es, al, es al revés. Los no. ordinales son, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yes. Ok. To ride, to, to ride on mm -hmm. for second stream, street. Ajá. 42, 42nd street. Ajá. Eh. Teacher, una consulta. ¿A dónde tendríamos, a dónde teníamos que llegar? Eh, you have no, you just have to have different. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ah, okay. Es The, que nosotros no sabíamos. Uh -huh. Ajá, que oh. no sabíamos a dónde nos íbamos a ir, o sea, que no les, o sea. no comprendimos de dónde a dónde teníamos que, que irnos, pero nosotros estamos ahí inventando, teacher. So you are starting at the Grand Central Station. That's, ah. you, that's your starting point. But you can go to different places. You can be asked ah, about okay. the Empire State Building. You can ask about Rockefeller Center. Ah, you know. yeah. You decide okay. where you want to go. Sí, nosotros ah. estamos de la Gran Central al, al Public Library. <laughs> okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, entonces sí. Ya hicimos entonces ese, ¿verdad? Al Public Library, Sandrita. Si quiere, hagamos el otro a la catedral. A catedral. 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 A San Patrick's. Sí, Patrick. San Patrick's. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces, de. Este. Siempre de la gran central. 
Uh -huh. Excuse me, how, how do you, I get, no, verdad, sí, sería, I get to Grand Central, no, um, St. Patrick's Cathedral. Sí. Entonces sería, este. Siempre sería, siempre sería igual, iniciaríamos siempre igual, digamos, to write on, For, for, for second, for second, for street. second street, o, eh, walk uh -huh. down, verdad? O go down. No, de ahí sería, de ahí sería. Eat on the, it's on the, on the, on the left. It's on the right. It's on the right. Uh huh. Eh, Madison, Madison Avenue. Madison Avenue, ajá. Uh -huh. Madison Avenue. Um, y después de la avenue llegamos a la, a la 50, a la 50, sí. a la 50. Pero aquí, aquí dice que llega a la esquina de la 50 y se va recto. ¿Verdad? No. No. Que llega. Ajá. No, aquí nos especifica que llega a la... Eh, on the corner of... Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Sí. Ajá. On the corner of... In the corner spot. Oh, no. oh, no. mm -hmm. In the corner spot. Oh. Me cuesta un poco. Hi guys, what are you doing here? What are you all doing here? Todos todo lo sacaron la, la plataforma. Okay. Que estábamos debatiendo sobre <risa> debatiendo sobre la inmortalidad del cangrejo. No, pero me, me han preguntado, o sea, ¿qué, ¿qué pasó? ¿Por qué están todos acá? A mí me dio error. Y después Anthony comienza su propuesta indecente. Ah. Vale. Manténganse en los grupos, chicos, hasta que yo los cierre, ¿ok? Porque hay una razón por qué no los, no los devuelvo. A veces les doy una cierta cantidad de tiempo, pero um, no los cierro porque veo que todavía no han terminado, que necesitan más práctica por aquí mo oye motivo. Entonces, manténganse ahí, no, no, no regresen a, a, a la sala. Es que el cronómetro se puso a cero, creo que por eso nos sacó. No, 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 no nos saca. No, no, no saca. Eh, no debería de sacarlos. Porque no, porque yo no, yo tengo que manualmente eh, cerrar las, la, los grupos. En okay. mi caso dio error, habíamos tres en la sala siete, eh, los estaba escuchando, pero después me, de, me decía que había un error. No uh -huh. sé qué pasó, si fue el Inter o qué. Uh -huh. Pensé que me iba a cerrar la aplicación, pero solo me sacó de la sala y me uh -huh. puso en la principal. Oh. That's strange. Okay. All right. So, um, okay. So my question is, how did you do with the directions? I know this is not an easy topic because like I, we were talking before in El Salvador, it's not very common to give these types of directions, right? You just say, está enfrente del Salvador del Mundo. That's your direction. But, um, I want to know how how did you do? Because I know this is the this is something that is like the most difficult, let's say, uh, for for um for students. So tell me, questions. A mí en lo personal me cuesta mucho las direcciones, teacher. Tengo que ser sincera. También. Sí, yo soy una misma. Okay. Siempre doy algo que ya conocen. Okay. 
y de ahí tres pasitos y ya, ahí está. Sí, entiendo, y en El Salvador funciona, pues funciona perfectamente porque así es como todo el mundo lo hace, pero el problema es que cuando van a, otra, a, a otro país, que no es Latinoamérica, porque a veces hay países en Latinoamérica que es peor todavía, es, es como, como que lo dicen como a, son tres barras a la izquierda de, de la, de la, um, ¿cómo se llama? De la, de la, ¿cómo se llama? De la iglesia o algo así, ¿verdad? Esas es, son las direcciones, ¿verdad? Pero, eh, pero si ustedes van a otro país que no es Latinoamérica y ustedes dicen, se van a, o sea, para empezar de que no, va, no, no pueden hacer eso porque no conocen, ¿verdad? No conocen, eh, no pueden decir, ah, el, el, te acuerdas, ¿sabes de tal, tal lugar? Porque es tan grande la ciudad y no lo va a conocer que no va a poder hacerlo. Entonces, por eso es importante que sí aprendamos, ¿verdad? Para poder no solo dar las direcciones, sino que entenderlas cuando nos la dan. So, okay. So, something very, very important that we were talking with one of the groups is that when you say go up or walk up or walk down or go down, it refers to two things. It can either refer to going literally up a hill, okay? or down a hill, <coughs> or it can talk about like the, the numbers of the streets. So if you're going from 42nd Street or 41st Street, and you want to get to 49th Street, it's, it's gonna, it, 49th Street is a higher street than 41 or 42nd. So you're gonna be going up. So you say, go up, go down. Sorry, sorry, no, sorry. In that case, it'd be go up or walk up. But if you want to go for, from example, 39th Street to 35th Street, you're gonna go down, walk down or go down. Okay, does that make sense? So you have to, that's why you have to know the streets, right? And, and, and it's just, it's, it's a matter of logic. The majority of the, of the cities in the world, the majority, not all, but the majority of the cities in the world, they just go consecutively, right? So 31st, 32nd, 33rd, 34th, 35th, 36th, and so on. Okay. Creo que si no me equivoco en San Salvador sí es un poco diferente. Van como por se saltan, ¿verdad? Como creo que como que una es la, la segunda y la otra es la cuarta, ¿verdad? Si no me equivoco. Sí, y que hay algunas la calles que por ejemplo sexta, son la ¿verdad? sexta décima. La sí. sexta décima. Eh. Oh, sí, ajá, yo sé, yo sé, yo, yo entiendo, entiendo la confusión, ¿eh? o sea, en El Salvador tampoco a mí me, yo me quedo también un poco, ¿qué es esto? Pero, um, pero, pero aunque vaya así, siempre va para arriba o para abajo, ¿verdad? Entonces no es como que vamos eh, como sexta, cuarta, octava, ¿verdad? No, sí, ¿verdad? Sino que es consecutivo, ¿verdad? Right? So, so it's going to be going like, It's, your other is going to go from the second to the eighth, going up, or from the eighth to the second, going down. Okay? Do we understand? Yeah? Yes, miss. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Also, otra cosa. Necesita aprenderse cuál es su derecha y cuál es su izquierda. Ok. Si no le van a decir, no, la otra, su otra derecha. Ok. Entonces, very important. You have to learn 
This is my right. Yeah. This is my left. Okay. Yo me hice un tatuaje para saber cuál es la izquierda. A ver el tatuaje. Uh, <laughs> Bye. I'll tell you. I'll tell you a little secret. Okay. I'll tell you a little secret. Okay. Give um, your secret. <laughs> yeah. Th this is actually a secret. We, we. This is what we do in 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 English, right? In English speaking countries. Okay. If you if look at you know you know. Do this or do that. Which one forms an L? Which, if you do this, which one is the one that it makes an L? ¿Cuál de las dos hace una L? Aha, exacto. This L. one, this one is your left for for left L for left. Left. Okay. Mm -hmm. See. ¿Sí? O sea, cuando, cuando no, no, no sepan cuál es left y right, solo, solo háganle esto y ah, esta es la L, porque esta no forma una L, esta es. Entonces, that's left. ¿Ok? Y haberlo sabido antes. Pero L. <risa> Eso sí que es un ¿Está diciendo que forma una L desde mi punto de vista o desde el punto de vista de una no, persona? No, no, porque usted es, la que, eh, usted es la persona que lo está viendo. Ah, oh, vaya. Oh, yeah, estoy yeah. perdido. <laughs> okay, te voy a enseñar uh, tu motivación. <laughs> okay, o, o si no van a tener que conseguirse primero los lentes para poder ver bien cuál de las dos la L. <laughs> no, la idea del tatuaje ayuda. No sirven, no sirven. Okay, all right, so, so guys, remember that, okay? Always remember left, right, left, right. Okay, you have to know that. Very, very important when you're giving directions. Let turn left, turn right. Okay. Okay. Un very... en la mano derecha. Mm. I don't know. Maybe. Yo, okay. yo me guío por mi anillo. Aha, uh -huh. that 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 could work too. That I mean, yeah. Like if you're if for example, did you know that? Your 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 wedding ring has to go on your left, uh, on your left uh, hand. Did you know that? The wedding ring when you get married. Da, 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 da. <laughs> your wedding ring has to go on your left finger. Do you know why? You know uh, why? Sí, porque es ese dedo. Exacto, en la mano izquierda es el que está más cerca del corazón conectado ya hablando de sistema circulatorio. Exactly, yeah. So your 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 heart is on your left side, okay? So it's on your left side. So it has to go with the same, okay? Yo realmente ahorita no estoy segura cómo me miran ustedes si me están viendo, pero pero I'm, I'm touching my left side, right? So this is my left my left hand and this is my heart so it's closer to my heart right so that's why uh our wedding fingers sorry our wedding ring goes on our wedding finger which is this one right here right so if that helps no sé si alguno de ustedes está casado y utiliza ahí su su um su banda de matrimonio yeah, but uh, yeah, that that can help also help, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Any other questions that you guys have before we continue? Okay, so we we do need a lot of 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 um a practice with this. So what we'll do is in these last few minutes of class, well, not, well, we still have a little bit of time. We're going to be reading, okay? We will be reading A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. Please tell me if you can see my screen. Just a moment. Can you, can you see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay, yes, good. Sure. Excellent. Okay, so a walk up Fifth Avenue. Um, okay, um, I'm going to need four volunteers to help me read. Who wants to be number one? Number 
Yo te chedo. Okay, wonderful, Victor. Go ahead and read about the Empire State Building. Uh, comienzo ya. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, start your tour at the Empire State Building on Fifth Avenue between uh, 33rd and 34 streets. This building has a nice one. Uh, 100, 100. 100. 100 floors take the elevators as as is elevator so the yeah 102 floor for a great view of new york new york city mm -hmm. okay very good bravo Good job, Victor. Okay, do you have questions about the vocabulary? So just remember that with streets and avenues, we read them with ordinal numbers. So we say 30, 33rd and, 40, and 34th Street. Okay. 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 All right. Great. Let's go to the next one, number two. Who wants to help me with that one? Me, teacher. All right. Uh, thank you, Anna Manson. Go for it. No. Woke up Fifth Avenue, seven blocks to the New York Public Library. The entrance is between 40th and 42nd Streets. This library holds over 10 million books. Behind the library is Bryant Park. In the summer, there is an outdoor coffee and at lunch hour there are free music concerts all right thank you good job good job Anna says okay questions about the vocabulary here Really? No questions? You understand everything? If it is? Oh, okay. Hold on. I just saw. Uh... Okay. Entrance. Yes. Okay. Um... Okay, so the word, oh no, what's the meter? Let me change the color. Okay, so the entrance means the place where you go in. Okay, so um, if you're going into a building, you need to get into the building, right? So there are doors, there are main doors, that's the entrance. Okay, so maybe a building is very big, big, a big, big building, and maybe the building um, has um, is only one entrance, even though it's very, very big, there's only one main entrance. Okay, do we understand? Entrance, so it's the doors, the main doors to get in. Very similar to Spanish, actually. Okay, um, so what is entrance, by the way? Entrance? 
What is what is entrance in Spanish? Entrada. Right, entrada, exactly. Um, okay. Um, okay, I think the elevator part was over here. If I'm not mistaken. So elevator, very similar to Spanish. Elevator is a, um, a mechanical machine. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Um, <laughs> that, that, that takes you from the first floor or from one floor to a higher floor or it goes down so that you don't have to be walking up the, the stairs. So you just simply go on the elevator and it goes, whoop, goes up or whoop, goes down. Okay, that's an elevator. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. This library holds over 10 million books. It means that it has, it contains, holds or contains. Okay. It contains. And outdoors, uh, outdoor means outside, okay? Not inside of the building, but outside in nature with the trees and the birds and the bees <laughs> and um, the, you know, all the animals and the grass and the, and the flowers and, you know, things like that, okay? Yeah. We understand outdoors? Yes? What is outdoor? Outdoor? Tell me in Spanish, what is outdoor? Puerta de salida? No. Outdoor. Afuera. Afuera. Puerta trasera. No, 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 no. No. Outdoor means literally, uh, it's actually, an outdoor cafe means a cafe outside, outside. It's the same idea as the word outside. You know outside? Uh, sería como exterior, no? Yeah, yeah, outside. Like like I said, like in nature with the, with like, um uh, with, uh, you know, in the park, for example, um, you know, in the open area, not, not inside of a building, but but oh, I like mm -hmm. exactly, yeah, very good. That's the idea. Okay, okay, a building. Creo que building estaba aquí. Chicos, eh, díganme las palabras justo en el momento que que les pregunto para que no tenemos que estar yendo para arriba y para abajo. Okay, so um, building is. It, like this is a building. This is a building, okay? And over here, there are many, many buildings, right? All of this, these are buildings, right? So these are structures, structures inside of a city. That's a building, okay? This, this is another building, right? That's a building. This one is another building, okay? So it's a structure. Okay. Um, and then we have, okay. Do you understand, is it, okay, Ruth, is your question free? Is the question music or is the question concerts? In context, the all the words. Okay, What what is free? Do you understand the word free? Yeah. What is free? Gratis. Gratis, okay. Gratis. Music? Música y concierto. Música. ¿Y concert? Concierto. Concierto. Entonces, ¿qué entiende usted? Ah, literalmente. Eh, concierto. Sí. Concierto gratis. Exacto, un concierto musical gratis. It's exactly what it is. 
Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Usually in Spanish, um, to be able to understand from Spanish to English, it's it's very useful to go backwards. So if you have free music concert, start from the last one. Concert is concierto. Music, música. So concierto, música sería un concierto musical. Okay. And then free is gratis. Okay. So concierto musical, gratis. It usually works like going backwards. O sea, trabajen de detrás para adelante. Okay, so, normalmente para que para que tenga un poquito más sentido. Okay, um, and that's it. Those are the only words. Okay, all right, perfect. I need a volunteer to read this part here. A volunteer to read number three. Vamos, vamos, alguien. Yo, okay. teacher. All right, great. Thanks, Sandra. Go for it. Si me, si me equivoco, me corrige, teacher. It's okay, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Well up, well up, 6th Avenue to 49 Street. You're studying in, in the middle of the... Uh, 19 uh, 18 19 building night pardon 19 mm, 19 19 mm -hmm. build building of rockefeller center to right on 49 street walk another block and to our left, you're in Rockefeller Plaza. In the winter, you can ice cave in the ring there. Wonderful. Bravo, Sandra. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Okay. Questions about the vocabulary here? Por favor, hagan las preguntas para este, para este párrafo, para que podamos hacer... So you can write in the chat. Okay. All right. So middle in the middle means in the center. Okay, you're standing in the middle of the 19 buildings of Rockefeller Center. So it means um, you're in the center. Okay, the middle is the center. Okay, do we understand middle? Yes. Okay. Medio. In medio, very good. Okay, and now I just need one more volunteer to help me read the last one, number four. Who can help me read number four? Hi, teacher. Okay, Yo. great. Okay, go for it. Va. Eh, se le pegó el micrófono. Excuse me. It's okay. Right across from Rockefeller Center on 50th Avenue in St. Patrick's Cathedral, it is modeled after is the cathedral in Cologne, Germany. Go inside St. Patrick's and leave the nosley city behind. Look at the beautiful blue windows. Many of these windows come from France. Thank you. Very good. Okay, just be careful with the pronunciation, please. Um, I know this one's very difficult because, like, you know, sometimes we don't we're not used to this, but um the pronunciation is cathedral, cathedral, not cathedral, cathedral, no, it's cathedral, cathedral. Can you, re can you repeat everybody? Cathedral. Cathedral. Cathedral, very good, good job. Cathedral. Yes, cathedral. 
Excellent. Good job. Okay. Um, all right. Any questions about the vocabulary in this one? No, no questions? <laughs> mother, mother, mother. Okay. Um, so we have noisy. Uh, and okay. Cologne is just the name of a city in Germany. It's like just say like uh, Munich, okay? Like Munich or Berlin. This is the name of a city, okay? Uh, all right, we also have modeled. Okay. All right, so... Um, modeled after to model after something means to it's like take the copy it's like a copy of it okay like they use that as a model they use the the model for this cathedral was taken from the cathedral in cologne uh germany so they have a cathedral there and they made like a copy like they had that as a model to make the, the cathedral in St. Patrick's, okay? And noisy means that there's a lot of noise, right? Lots of noise from the city, like the, the cars going by, honking, beep, 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 right? Lots of noise from the city. So it's noisy, it's an adjective, okay? All right, any questions? Any more questions? No question. No? Okay. Bueno, entonces en este caso, chicos, we're going to stop our class there. And just a reminder that tomorrow I'm going to be helping you with the um, with any questions about the platform. Pero tienen que ser puntuales en ex exactamente qué ejercicio es lo que necesitan. O sea, Dígame 4.1, la, la número 5, por ejemplo. O sea, sean muy, muy puntuales para que, eh, o, y, o pregunten exactamente, o sea, eh, no, no me digan dicho y no entiendo, pero, pero ¿qué es lo que no entienden? Para que yo les pueda ayudar. No entiendo qué es lo que tengo que hacer, no entiendo uh, cuál es el problema con mi respuesta por, y me mandan la... la, la la captura de la respuesta, etcétera, etcétera. Pero sean muy puntuales para que podamos eh, ayudarles lo mejor posible. ¿Ok? Ok, so that's going to be all for today, guys. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. ¿Ok? Good night. Good night. Good night, night. Good night. Good night. Good night Miss. Good night.